here's how to create trendy speed ramp effects. <laughs> So let's begin. First import your footage. File, import, file. Then I suggest to create folder by clicking this icon to keep everything organized. Hit this button to create composition. Let's set it 1080 to 1920 and set it to one minute to have an extra space. Drag and drop your footage to the timeline and align all of them in the order you like. Since my footage has been shot in 4K, I have to select all of my layers, press S and scale them down to 50%. So watch through a footage and decide which range you want to use in the video. For example, here I was practicing in my posing, but I want to start the video from here. So I select the layer, press Ctrl Shift T and delete the first part. Move a bit to the right and I want to end it here. Ctrl Shift T and delete this part to on the right. Now we have perfect face to work with. Now we have to time remap this video. So press Ctrl Alt T to open up a time remap option and press this keyframe button at the beginning of your clip and set the keyframe here. Select a keyframe which is at the end of your video and move it a little bit closer to the first one and select your first keyframe Ctrl C move it a bit to the right just so it, these gaps would be pretty much the same and press ctrl v with selected layer and we can make a cut here let's delete this part so let's see what we have now great select your middle keyframe and press f9 go to the graph editor press right mouse button and select edit value graph select this keyframe and with holding shift set these lines like this and for now we have this result Let's get back to our normal view. Now we have to pre-compose this layer. So press Ctrl Shift C, select move all attributes into the new composition and rename it as you want. Press OK. Now we want to stabilize this footage. So let's hit stabilize motion. Try to find high contrast area on your footage. Fit it like this. So this area is going to be area which after effects each frame going to be looking for this frame. And this square is the area where after effects will be looking for this area for each frame. So let's make it bigger a bit. It's going to be longer to calculate, but it's worth it. Press this arrow button to analyze forward. So as you can see, we have perfect tracking and now hit apply. Make sure here's X and Y selected and press OK. So now you will see next picture. Your image is going to be moved like this. So you just need to scale it up. Select your layer, press S and scale it up to fill all these gaps. Make sure it was filled along whole footage. Yes, it was. So and let's see what we have now. Now go to effects and presets here on the right side and type pixel motion blur. Just drag and drop it on your layer. It's gonna make your footage way more smooth while in motion. So let's see what we have now. So now apply the same technique to the rest of your footages and align them with a the beat or with the music you are editing with. So this is it. Thank you for watching this video. Subscribe to my channel and goodbye.